Are you looking for an affordable wide angle lens for your Sony E-mount? In this video, I compare two of them. So let's see which one works out for you. Let's get going. Welcome YouTube uh, to another lens review on my channel, The Amateur Photographer. On this channel, I do camera gear review as well as tutorial for new photographers. If you're new here, consider subscribing and activating the notification bell. I recently made a lens review on the 7 Artisan 25mm f1.8 prime lens. A link to that video can be found at the top right hand corner of this video as we speak. Mike approached me to review and compare their 25mm f1.8 prime lens. Uh, Mike sent me this lens for free, however I promise you this will be an independent review. Also note that some aspect of the comparison I skip over certain things about the 7 Artisan lens. This is not to make it look like, uh, to make it look inferior to the Mike lens, but the 7 Artisan has its own full review video as mentioned and for the interest of time for this video. Because both makers make the 25mm as a manual lens at a max aperture of 1.8 and both are manual lenses and made for the Sony E-mount ABS-C sensor, it makes sense to compare them. Currently Sony is selling a kit lens that covers the 16 to 50mm focal length uh, with all its uh, alpha ABS-C size uh, cameras. Because the 25mm focal length is covered by the Sony kit lens, I might compare certain aspects of the lenses to the kit lens. As of shooting this video, the Mickey can be purchased here in the US from Amazon for $74.99, while the, artis the 7 Artisan can be bought for $79.99. So that's a point advantage for Mickey by saving you about $5 or so. Unboxing. My impression with all the manual or with all the manual lenses boxes is really neutral. I don't get the impression they are very well made, nor do I think they are that cheap. Inside the box, you get the following. You get a pouch, you get the paperwork, you get a cleaning cloth. Finally, you get the centerpiece, the lens itself. The 7 Artisan lens is no different in its packaging. It comes also with a, with a cheap pouch, some paperwork. However, the box I think is a little bit fancy. The first impression is that it is well made from a physical standpoint. It is made out of metal, so it does feel sturdy in your hand. For the lens being under $100, you certainly feel good about it at first touch. My impression of the 7 Artisan was the same, so there is no points won here. Where I think the Miki physical appearance has a bit of an advantage is the color combo. The metal chrome mount, the silver numbers, and silver ring in the front gives it the look of the more expensive Voigtlander lenses. Both lenses feature all metal bodies and metal mounts. No electronic connections on the back since both are manual lenses. Both sport seven glasses elements in five groups. Same height while both feature declicked rings in the same arrangement. The aperture ring is closest to the camera body while the focus ring is on the outside. Aperture has the same range on both lenses. However, the Mike does feature an extra aperture stop. The aperture range goes from 1.8 to 16 with the Mike lens featuring the F11 stop engraved on it. The Mike lens accepts 49mm filter thread while the 7 Artisan accepts a 46mm filter thread. So if you're making a decision to purchase one brand over the other, do consider the filter thread size you already own. Since both lenses are made for the ABS-C size sensor cameras, you must have your camera in an APS-C mode 
if you use it on any of Sony's full frame cameras such as my A7R2. Without the full frame camera being in ABS-C mode, you get this heavy vision editing as you can see in this image sample. Which is okay if this is what you're going for. 25mm focal length lenses are considered wide angle lenses, best used for landscape photography. Now let's compare the image quality of each lens. All right, so to test the image quality of both these uh, lenses, what I did was I set up this shot to take a picture of a, a church nearby my home. And I set up the camera on a tripod. That way I could avoid sh uh, any shaking since neither the camera nor the lenses have any stabilizations bu built in. And I set up the camera in aperture priority mode so that way I could be fair to both lenses. I could set up the aperture on each one of them to be the same, 5.6 in this case, and I let the camera pick the best setting so that I'm not being biased toward one or the other. Of course, I pulled focus, and these are the results. The first impression I get from downloading them, I noticed that the Seven Artisan, which is that first, um, first image uh, that I shot, you'll notice that the edges are wider when comparing it to the Mike uh, version of the image. This could be easily visible by seeing that uh, white window or white um, uh, door disappear and part of the shrine on the other end of the photo also disappear when compared to the Mike. Um, I do notice though that the extra space in the Mike, or excuse me, the extra space in the Seven Artisan is out of focus or a bit soft um, as you could see here in this part of the image as well as the other side by the door so keep that in mind otherwise both images are sharp edge to edge colors are great there is no vision editing i did not see any chromatic aberration Again, the softness and the edges with the seven artisan. Well, the best way to check for chromatic aberration is to go into development mode. And if you go under lens corrections, you could easily remove chromatic aberration and then notice if there's anything. I'll put it back. Let me zoom to a different part of the picture all right I'm not noticing any uh, chromatic aberration on the seven artisan Mike is the same thing I'll apply the same simple test click remove chromatic aberration There you have it, sharp, beautiful looking images. Neither one of them have an advantage in this one. All right, YouTube, there you have it. This is the comparison between the Mike 25 millimeter as well as the seven Artisan 25 millimeter. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it and it will help you make a decision to purchase. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and activating the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Once again, thanks for watching and you have a great evening.